Damn, Christmas came early. So the two stacks they sent me is the Goku F7 Pro V2 50A BL Heli S 30 by 30 stack. And the second stack they sent me is the Goku F7 Mini V2 40A BLS 20 by 20 stack. So these two stacks are like no joke. They're for performance drones. So yeah, let's have a look. Notice I say a lot of woo. I wonder why. Is it because of this? The marketing works. I'm trying not to say woo right now because I don't want to be corny. How do you open this, guys? Teach me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what? I love the feel of the back of this box. It's like really nice. Oh, sorry. I meant, yeah, look at that. Oh, my. That's sick. All right, what else do we have in here? Oh, I like this. That's sick. Nice and stealth. I think this just looks so much more badass. Like the yellow just stands out way too much. And I like what they did here. The wire is all black, but they have a little bit of a red wrap here just to show you it's positive. That's a very nice touch, actually. And we got a bag of stuff. That's a lot of plugs. Ooh, things to eat. Wait, it says do not eat. Well, that's pretty good. Just kidding. Don't eat that. If you eat it, you'll die. Well, this is really cool. Like, it's like printed on both sides. Very user friendly. It's like almost the same size as the board. I'm speechless. And another sticker. Yes. So this is the mini stack. Let's see what's underneath. All right. More throwaway treats. And we got the same XT60 here. Oh, they're the same length. Another sticker. Okay, so we have more plugs and more hardware and... A nice cap. Let's see the instructions. Nice. Let's see what we have in these little baggies. So the 30 by 30 stack comes with a pretty big cap. It's a 35V 470 UF capacitor. We have some really robust M3 nylon standoff and they're five millimeter tall. Also in the bag. Not sure how to use this yet, but very interesting. We have these silicone donuts. It also comes with metal nuts to secure your stack. There's also M3 screws in the kit. They're uh, 21 millimeters in length. So that's the perfect length to secure your stack without having too much metal sticking out. And we have all these plugs. Okay, and what's in the mini stacks bags? So we have the same cap. So this stack uses M2 screws. So they're 20 millimeters in length. And inside the bag, we have a variety of hardware. We have a M2 nut, a nylon M2 washers. We have these nylon two millimeter spacers. So we also have a bag of plugs. It's my first time seeing such a really nice looking board. I mean, especially it's like all white and gold. A really nice touch is the gummies are translucent white as well. You know, it really fits in with their marketing here, which it says, next generation. Maybe Flywu stole this from the Star Trek Enterprise. You know, they broke in, kicked Data's ass and pulled it out of his brain or something. You know, that's kind of what it looks like. This flight controller reminds me a little bit about other boards I've seen where it was just all plugs. But what's different about this is if you want, all the solder points are also on the back. So you don't have to use the plugs. Yeah, and the mini stack, it has the same white PCB. It gives a high quality feel with the translucent gummies. And it also retains all its solder points. Although because the board is so small, I could see there's barely any prints saying what they are. Again, you know, Flywoo included this really handy instruction sheet and everything is colorfully labeled and very easy to read. And the ESC looks pretty typical. It looks very robust. I like the pads as well because they're nice and wide, makes it easy to solder. I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing here. So as you can see, there's some grooves on top of these sockets. So these are a snap lock feature. So that's really nice because when we fly FPV drones, we crash all the time. And I've had connections actually fly out on me or like maybe a branch snags it and like rips it out. This is the plug and it has like a little tab here when it goes in. So it just goes click. And to remove it, you see it has a little squeezy tab back here. Push it and it comes out. As simple as that if you need servicing. Not all the plugs feature the snap lock. I guess having some of them is better than nothing. So both of these boards are equipped with STM32 F722 high performance processors. So both boards also feature a 16 megabyte black box. In my experience, that's good enough for around at least three five minute flights of data analysis. These boards also feature six UARTs. 
So that's more than enough to do whatever you want to do. Starting with the bigger ESC, this one's rated for 50 amps. It uses 8-bit BL Heli S. It can also take a burst current of 10 seconds at 55 amps. You can input 2 to 6 S LiPos. There's also support for 8 motors as well. As for the Mini ESC, all the specs are pretty much the same, except it's rated for a maximum of 40 to 45 amps. They also come in at a very reasonable price point. The 50 amp stack starts at $79.99 US and the Mini starts at $69.99 US. And considering you get lots of plug and play ports, six full UARTs, it's a great value. So for the 722 Pro, it's a 30 by 30 mounting configuration. Most frames that are five inch and up will fit this. For the F722 Pro Mini, it uses M2 screws, 20 by 20. So this is kind of a weird space for a powerful mini stack. Usually I would see them as M3 20 by 20. So Flywoo chosen to use M2 20 by 20, but that's fine because you can always print an adapter or purchase an adapter to fit your M2 screws into an M3 hole. Although having ports like this is convenient for serviceability, there are some quirks to the build that you should know about. You know, Flywoo included these really handy diagrams. I'm not going to dive into what each port does. You know, that's something you'll have to figure out. Just some handy tips that you might have to actually start swapping things around to accommodate your electronics because it's not all universal, right? Yeah, you might actually have to take the pins out and put it in a different one just to make sure it works with this board and the electronics you're trying to plug it in with. And I'm just going to teach you how to do that right now in case you don't know. It's really easy. You just take your tweezers, gently lift up the tab, careful not to break it, but they're quite durable. Simple as that. Just, you know, swap them around. Make sure the electronics you're plugging into can communicate with this board. Once you've swapped it to the correct port, all you have to do is just push it back in there. It doesn't really make a snap sound or anything, but sometimes it helps also still relifting the tab and just pushing it back in. And I just use my finger and just make sure the tab's like tight. I just, I just press it like that and yeah, it's in back in there. See, it won't pull out, it's locked in again. So another thing about having plugs on both ends is the fixed wire length from factory. If you want your quad to be lighter, a bit cleaner, maybe you don't have much space or you just want to shave off a few grams, but you want to keep the plugs on both ends, then you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to have to pick up a bunch of JST SH1.0 connector terminals. You're going to also have to pick up a crimp. What I got was this crimp from Amazon. The brand is called Engineer and it can crimp these type of micro connectors onto tiny little wires. All right, let's see what the F722 Pro looks like in Betaflight. So I'm just going to plug in the USB-C. So looking at both boards, it's exactly the same thing in Betaflight. They're both loaded with Betaflight 4.4. Their ports is exactly the same thing. They have UARTs 1 to 6. They're all available for use, which is nice. They both have an 8 kilohertz gyro update frequency and an 8 kilohertz PID loop frequency, meaning that you could run DSHOT 600. So one really notable feature is both stacks feature a VTX control where you could turn it on and off. This is really handy, especially if you have a naked O3 air unit, maybe you're waiting for satellite lock and you don't want the processor to overheat. You can assign an on and off switch to your transmitter and just turn off your O3 air unit or your VTX while you wait. I'll test it after I put this into one of my quads. Okay, time for the weigh-ins. Let's start with the mini. So the mini's 12.76 grams. That's pretty light in almost AIO territory. It's so much easier to work on than an AIO. So I can't wait to try these in a future video, maybe on a racing drone, maybe a freestyle rig that you want to keep lighter weight, or a long range drone that is five inch and up. I think this would make a lot of sense for that. It's rated for 40 amps, but you know what that means. That means per motor. For example, one of my freestyle slash racing drones at full throttle, it pulls 80 amps total, all four motors. This can handle 160 amps. So it's, it's more than enough to handle that type of power. But as for a power surge, you know, who knows, right? So that's where this comes in. The F722 Pro 30 by 30, more robust. You know, it's just more of a guarantee. Okay, so it's almost double the weight, 22.79 grams. You can see how much bigger it is. This is a 50 amp ESC. So this stack, I would most likely put this in like a heavyweight bando quad 
maybe five inch and up. This is a guaranteed solution that you know looks more durable, won't burn out on you during a simple crash, etc., etc. I'm not saying the smaller one would burn out on you on a crash and stuff like that, but you could just tell by the size, right? They both have different purposes. This one, you're seeking the lightest weight, enough performance for most five inch and up typical drones and race drones. And this one is like, you're going all out. So in a future video, I'm going to test these out on my frames and let you guys know how they hold up. If you like the video, please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I also have affiliate links in the description below. If you purchase from them, I get a bit of a small commission and I can keep bringing this type of content to you guys. See you on the next one.